Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Finds of Yesterday and I sell vintage items and jewelry on eBay and recently I went to a jewelry show and I found some vintage cloisonne beads so I wanted to share them with you and tell you a little bit about the process of cloisonne and let's just jump right in. So I wanted to show you my recent purchase of cloisonne beads that I got from a jewelry show recently and the guy said he bought these vintage beads from a manufacturer in Chicago that went out of business this past year. He bought the last of their stock. So I bought some from him to resell on eBay. And I'm going to have these all available on eBay real soon here. So the process of cloisonne is where they take a bead and they take gold wire and shape it into the form of a flower or design that they have on the bead and they solder it to it and then they fill in the gaps with an, a vitreous enamel paste and then they fire it in a kiln. This gentleman said that they do this several times like it's layered on and they fire it several times. Then they take it out of the kiln and they sand it down and polish it and it creates this beautiful bead. So this one I have is a 10 millimeter and I have about 48 of these and they are going to sell for four dollars each as you can see here the size is between my two fingers that's the smallest one i have here it is next to a penny i can show you on the black a little bit better sorry for all the lint that's on here yuck but really pretty beads. And then I have these oval ones, this pretty white one, and I have it in blue as well. And they, he told me that the ones with these cloud looking designs are more sought after, and they'll sell for $6 a piece. And I have probably 12 of each of the colors of them. Then we have a 20 millimeter bead I have it in this blue, which is really pretty. I can't hold it on the black much. This one is smoother than the gold ones. The gold ones are worth more. A beautiful design. The t let's see, the 20 inch sells for $6 a piece. And I also have it in a teal. As you can see, where's the hole? These are beads. They are made for stringing on a necklace. This could be a center bead. But this one is $6 a piece, and I have about 12 of them. And then I have this gold one. See how the gold is a little different? They let the gold come through so they leave gaps. They don't fill it completely in with enamel. But these are a little more expensive. They're seven dollars and this is a 20 millimeter. Let me show you the size of the 20 millimeter next to the penny. That gives you a little better idea. It's about the size of a penny, maybe a little bigger. Then I have a 25 millimeter in that same bead. Look at the pretty design on it. It has the gaps on it purposely. And there's the hole for stringing. This one's larger. This one's more like the size of a quarter. And then I have one in teal, which is 30 millimeters. And it is bigger than the quarter. This one's got a lot more detail to it. A lot of variation of color. And see the hole for stringing? This one will, will run $10. And I have about 12 of them. 
So that's all I have, and I wanted to just share this with you. I'll go back through them again. This one is a 25 millimeter, and it sells for $10, as compared to the 20 millimeter that sells for seven. And then we have the teal and the blue ones that are 20 millimeters. And they sell for six. And then I have the two oval ones. That sell for six a piece. And then I have the little 10 millimeter one that sells for $4 a piece. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have, hit the like button and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.